Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. So some big, big breaking news coming directly from the Twitter page of the homie Goresh. And as you can see, he reported that the stones in Dokkan and crystals in Legends are both getting price increases on the JP versions of both games. Now obviously this is a big deal, especially for people who are pay to play and especially for people who main the JP side of the game. Now this of course also affects Legends players, as you can see Crystals are also getting a price bump, but since this is a mainly a Dokkan channel, I'm not going to worry too much about that side right now in this video. And uh, let's focus on the Dokkan aspect here. So before anybody freaks out, uh, and you know starts calling Bandai greedy, you know saying that they price gouge their player base even though they make hundreds of millions of dollars off this game every single year. That may all be true, but <laughs> there's actually a reason behind this price increase and uh, it's basically because the consumption tax in Japan went up by 2% or it's going to go up by 2%. I'm not really sure if it's already gone into effect or it's going to happen, but either way, it's because of the increase in taxes in Japan that Bandai is increasing the prices of Dragonstones. So that's number one, all right? There's a reason behind it. And it's not just Bandai that's doing this. Basically, every other gacha game or most gacha games in Japan are getting a uh, price increase to their in-game currencies. So it's not like just a Bandai only thing, right? I've seen some people argue that, you know, uh, a good developer would just eat the loss in profits or you know the decrease in revenue from the increased taxes instead of increasing the prices right but realistically you can't expect something like that out of a major corporation like bandai because the whole purpose of corporations is to make profit and uh if it was something like you know just out of nowhere there was no actual change to any legislation or taxes or anything like that and they just randomly decided to increase the prices of stones i'd be very pissed but because it's for the reason of the tax increase i get it it's totally fine with me all right i'm, I'm cool with that but the second thing all right the second thing is that it's not a huge increase guys to the prices uh from what i've heard it's basically about a dollar difference between the old, old like 91 stone pack or 90 stone pack and the new 90 stone pack. So it's about like a dollar for every $50 that uh, pay to play players would have spent anyways. So overall for most people, it's not going to make a massive difference. But obviously when you think about people like uh, Truth, for example, or any of those other major whales out there, um, it could definitely... Uh, make a pretty big impact because of how many like the volume of stones that they're buying right and uh even though some people i've seen say you know it doesn't matter to truth because sometimes he buys from vendors he does but also a lot of the times he does buy directly from the end game store as well so uh yeah in the long run you know when you're buying thousands of stones per banner yeah that definitely adds up the one dollar for every 50 uh, $50 you spend, it does add up, right? So that's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is, man. Like, <laughs> Bandai uh, is basically just responding to the increase in taxes, and um, that's just the situation, guys. So don't freak out too much. I just wanted to report this for anybody that missed it. Uh, this news came out about, uh, I guess, well, like five, six hours ago when uh, Goresh posted this, and I see a lot of people freaking out right now on Twitter and on um you know the dokkan subreddit and all that stuff and i just want to say don't freak out too much it's not a huge increase there's a reason behind it and as far as global players go um there's no change uh as far as i know for the global side since there's no real change to um taxes i mean here, here's the thing it, it varies by country right but as far as i know there's no plans to change the prices of dragonstones or the stone packs in store for uh any countries uh, outside of japan so i think we're we're good to go on that side for now. Obviously, things could change, and if they do, I'll let you guys know in future videos. But for now, that is the news, guys. Uh, stones in JP Dokkan and also crystals in Legends uh, are getting price increases of about a dollar for every 50 stones, or about 2%, basically, uh, the rate that the tax is in increased by. And, um, you know, be prepared. You know, prepare your wallets for that change. Like I said, if you're not buying a lot of stones, it shouldn't make a huge difference. But if you are a huge whale, 
and uh, expect to drop a little bit more money than you normally do. But that's it, guys. That's the news. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. Have an awesome day. I will see you soon in the next video or next stream, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.